531. Thank you all for coming on um, an un unusual day for this meeting. Um, I, I called the meeting regarding the CXC special permit and <clears throat> um, sound permit for Stone Horse Green. Um, and I'm gonna give you a little background on why I am calling this meeting. Um, back when I was first elected on one of the bus tours where they take <clears throat> the alders around and show you around the city and tell you all the neat projects that are going on. Um, we did see the future home at that point, the future home of CXC. We also saw the future home of Stone Horse. And I can't remember if it was in my head or if it was Mike Davis giving the tour who said, um, you know, we can totally see like skiing events happening here and then everyone going into town, everyone coming into downtown for awards and stuff. And so I didn't feel comfortable making the decision when Matt contacted me last week about um, a quick permit turnaround. So I wanted to have this meeting because we were going through coming up with who can use Stone Horse Green and who can't use Stone Horse Green. And I was misunderstanding that CXC was a city city venture. Um, <clears throat> and I, I just wanna get clear and I want someone, I want, Kendra to just help me and say, yeah, dummy, uh, the answer is clear. Um, or is there some kind of connection with the city that CXC has that makes it possible or not? And that's why we're here. Um, and the other thing is Matt needed this quick answer before this weekend. So thank you for coming. Let's have a discussion. Hey, Luke, Luke was able to join the call too. So Luke is on here. Excellent. Luke, I'm not sure if you heard my little preface. I caught some of that. So I, I, we are looking to have a quick turnaround on a permit request from CXC for their yep. award yep. ceremony to be held at Stonehorse. And yep. um, while we're talking about who can use Stonehorse for special events and who cannot, Yep. We're talking about city only or um, or possibly school district. And <clears throat> I'd like to get clear the connection of CXC. Are, are we still in, does the city of Madison still own the property, Matt, that CXC the city is? Of you mean the city of Madison doesn't know? No, any. no, no. The city oh. of Middleton. Middleton. <laughs> yes. We Did are, I say Madison? Are, I apologize. Yeah, we are the owners. Owners of well, most of the property, and then we are the <laughs> holder of easement rights to the trails that kind of go off beyond our ownership parcel. So, yeah, I mean. This is maybe one of those places. I mean, there, well, back up. I mean, there is no question that CXC and the city are entirely different entities. Right. I understand. Now, um, but they do clearly have a relationship that is different than, you know, just any other. I mean, it, it, the, this entire park, Erdman Park, uh, um, you know, while there's a lot of city stuff, uh, you know, in the non-winter months and so forth for bikes and everything that this is used for, um, you know, we do have an arrangement where CXC is effectively operating, um, could, could be seen as operating a city amenity uh, throughout all those winter months. And so there's certainly a, a partnership to a large degree uh, in providing um, you know, that whole experience out there on city lands, but we are still nonetheless two entirely separate entities. Now, whether 
whether that relationship is is close enough and we you know feel that uh, that you know events out at Erdman Park and um the kind of uh, you know close enmeshing of CXC within how all that operates that that is um close enough uh where the, this I mean really what what I would like to see this be if we're going to have quote unquote CXC events, have this really be more of a city event where you know, but it's CX related to CXC activities going out um, on the park. I, I I I don't foresee under the rubric that we're talking about having CXC itself. Um, you know, submitting applications and it being completely in charge of running the event. Um, you know, I, I think we need to, we want to be able to rationalize this somehow as a a city event. And like I said, I, I don't think that's a enormous stretch given the arrangement we have. But um, yeah, I mean, the, there there that's just kind of a judgment call. Of how how we feel how connected that is and, and, and whether, um, you know, whether we feel that, that what is going on out at CXC and, or the Erdman Park and CXC's role is intertwined enough with the city's interests that the city would be a sponsor of an event like this or whether, um, and that's, you know, really apart from whether this event in and of itself is kind of appropriate for Stone Horse Green, but. Right. Um, yeah. Any questions from Kendra? You look like you're ready. I'm having a real hard time with it. <laughs> uh, I mean, they are 501c3. They are separate from the city. Mm -hmm. They are, as Matt points out, a separate entity. And I I don't know that this is an event that could not just happen at a, another shelter at a different park. So I don't see, I, I think we're still struggling with defining Stone Horse Green and its space within our city. Um, and I, and I missed the last LNO meeting and I know that that was, that came up um, as a, a previous discussion and it looks like it was kind of deferred for until further negotiations Um with the school district curious if there's right. been any traction there right no um, not not I've... really um and frankly I, and there were a few other cleanup items that we we thought about about the fires language and and things like that i i don't think um as i've been playing with this that the ordinance when we go forward, not to get too far <laughs> off the topic, but um, I, I suspect we're going to go forward with this ordinance, with that ordinance, excluding the school district as a preferred party, and then we'll add them later if it becomes appropriate mm -hmm. to do so. But I, I think there, are, um, there are just a lot of things that have to happen to get us back uh, right with the school district in terms of the our master lease agreement and all that. And I, I, I wouldn't want to hold up kind of our regulations for stone horse green to let that play out. There just is no reason. Sure. And Kendra, to say more about your hesitations in terms of um, about holding this at, at stone horse green. It just sets a precedent. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I understand and going back to what Katie said about the presentation of how all these things hang together. I, in, entirely remember that being a, a selling point when they were developing Stone Horse Green. Like, look how great it is. You've got all mm -hmm. these downtown businesses, the bars, you can have these events that happen after things that happen elsewhere in the community. This is the gathering space for afterwards. And I see that as being a good point, but if we are really intent on keeping it as city only functions down there, which again, is something that maybe we need to discuss further because I, I guess, I don't want to see it not used because right. we have these limitations on it. This right. sounds like it would be, I mean, 200 people is a lot. Um, I'm really bad at estimating space and people fitting in spaces. It, it seems like a rather large gathering, but it's a short gathering. And I could see how the businesses downtown would appreciate having that totally. group of people come 
after that event. So, but I just. I also I, think, yeah, I mean, your, your, your terminology of setting a precedent, I think could also be both go both ways, which is a sense of we could either be setting a precedent about what we say is appropriate and, or what we're saying is not appropriate. Right. And I tend to come down more on the side of a little bit of, Hey, you know, we're still in the feeling out phase, if you will. And probably a little bit, maybe more leeway in terms of, you know, trying to see what works versus what doesn't versus the more conservative approach uh, of that. So if I, if it's a, if it's largely one of these, I hate to use the term coin flips, but it's one of these where it's, it could really go and go either way. My instinct is to say, Hey, we've never done this before. We're still trying to figure this out. Let's try. And if it turns out that it doesn't work, then we can always go back and do it. Now, I totally hear your point about the sense of once you've let the genie out of the bottle, it's hard to put it back in. So I'm cognizant of that. But there's there, the, a part of me just keeps thinking a little bit of, you know, we're still kind of in the experimentation phase around this. Um, and I view this as, you know, another N in uh, the, the the gathering of data. Well, and to further what you're kind of talking, I mean, I think there's two areas of, of sort of experimentation. I mean, one is just the practical: what kind of things do we want to do there? What's it, how, what's the impact, and what that sort of thing. Um, but the other is, and the one that gives me a little more discomfort is the legal part of it, as we think about you know because you know what we're trying to do here is is anticipate. Um, you know, future requests, where those come in, how we justify their relationship to the city. I mean, I, as I sit here, I can, I can envision how this could be justifiable and stuff. Although I, I you know, would have much rather had, you know, maybe a month <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. to to really mm -hmm. think about the ramifications of it. Now that said, you know, we haven't adopted this ordinance yet and everything, so I, you know, I don't want to overstate that concern either, but. But I do think that that from the legal perspective, I think we want to probably tread carefully in terms of how sure. how quickly and how far we depart from, you know, direct city events occurring here, because you have right. too many that all of a sudden you, you may have created a different space from a legal Let, perspective. Mm -hmm. than, than yeah. yeah. Let me um, propose a scenario where we say unfortunately we really want this to be a city sponsored event um so maybe next year we do a winter fest that happens to fall on the same weekend of the races so that as part of the winter fest we have invited the the award ceremony to be a part of the winter fest at stonehorse and for this year what about setting up Stone Horse, not to have the award ceremony, but to uh, anticipate 200 people, inviting them downtown Middleton, have the horses all super warm and have maybe, um, <clears throat> I know that the, the fire pit has to have a, an event connected to it, but could we have somebody manning the 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 fire pit and have it all super welcoming for anyone who's coming from the ski race to the downtown area to enjoy stone horse just as it is without having the event there you know as you were sorry not to derail did did tourism partner with this event Matt, this is where we need you. Uh, no. Okay. Because that would, I think, kind mm. of help to bridge that gap. If if tourism had had, you know, or if there was a way that we had partnered with them, you know, partnered with the community development or the, you know, the CDA. I have that right, community development, right? If that association had been involved or tourism had been involved that makes that gap a little bit easier to bridge as far as it being a city co-sponsored or city recognized event but the fact that it's independent of the city completely at this point in time 
again, like Katie said, if or Matt, I think said, if we had had a month, you know, like just a little bit more ahead of time to get the city involved in some way to make it more of a city event, it would be easier to. Was to... was tourism approached about partnering and we turned it down, or was it just simply not an option? Mari, Mari is actually the one who told me about the event. Um, but just kind of in like a, it was almost Katie, kind of like what you said. And I wish, I wish now I had more time to kind of flesh it out, but yeah, I actually thought about having some sort of kind of a winter festival thing with mm. some activities, um, that would complement this event and not, maybe not even necessarily have, um, the award ceremony or anything even on the green, but just something that people would be there and then it'd be like, oh, now we heard there's things over here to do. Let's go here. Kind of like, it's basically exactly what you said earlier. So no, no music? I'm sorry? No music? Uh, we were going to have music, yeah. And that's oh, okay. part of the permit request, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, so 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 we're saying it's okay to have music. It's just not going to be like an official event or what? what where, where are we drawing the line here, I guess, is what I'm, I'm trying to understand. I think they're they're asking for a permit and we're saying yes or no on the whole event. Got it. Got it. Got it. So it's okay. Got it. So if we <laughs> said no to the event, but if you wanted to use the space as a gathering place in an informal manner, that's okay. Like anyone else would. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're stuck. May I say <laughs> more time? I'm, I'm Yuri. Hi, I'm, Yuri. I'm, thank you for hi. joining us. Yeah. Yes, no, thank you. Uh, first of all, there was no, I'm sorry that this created such a uh, challenging situation. There was no intent by any means. This came up as an Understood. idea. <laughs> this yeah. came up I as an idea from in. that. Nice <laughs> the tourism is involved. They, uh, well, I would say it's a part of one event, it's a state championship event. And the uh, award ceremony is part of the event. Uh, I'm sorry. And the uh, event is, uh, we have a grant from Middleton Tourism. So we are connected with Middleton Tourism and they've been involved. Uh, so to answer that question, but I don't want to make it by any means any more complicated than the event is already. From Again, this was came as an idea from Matt. We said, well, we, yeah, we'll have 200, whatever, 300 people would be great. Bring them to downtown to benefit businesses. It's Logistically, it's way simpler for me to have awards on site, be done and gone. Uh, but to point out, doesn't matter what you, if if we don't have something happening in downtown, like award ceremony, I can I, I, you shouldn't waste the energy and time by uh, warming up facility because people are not gonna come. It's just uh, they're gonna be uh, tired from racing. They'll be ready to get the hotel shower whatever they're going to choose to go to eat that's will be the end of it again we have people we have that audience we would be happy to go through hassle and bring them to downtown but if it's a hassle for you as well i don't think we need to have more hassles than we <laughs> um so that's just from my perspective um again this was i think it was a great idea and i think it will be great to bring those people to go and eat in downtown and see the downtown but I understand the practical uh, elements that uh, involved with it. Yeah, and we appreciate how much work mm -hmm. you've probably already put into your event. And I can see where more complication is the last thing you want. <laughs> um, but it's interesting to know that you have a grant from the tourism, the city of Middleton tourism. And, and that mm -hmm. might be our, our loophole if we wanted that. Matt, your thoughts? Me, Matt? Yeah, you, Matt. <laughs> uh, well, I'm I mean, that, that, Matt, that, 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 that is, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I forgot. It certainly is more of a, it certainly is more of a tie. Yeah, it, it's, um, and like I said, I mean, I, it does certainly sound like a, a, a good event. I mean, like I said, I, I this one I don't know is that uh, I don't know that's going to set us down a, a, an irreversible path one way or the other. I mean, I I do like that there is a, tour, a tourism grant component of it, 
you know, I, you know, I, I, I would have liked it to be, have been planned more as a, as a city cooperative event from the get go. And I mean, so certainly at a minimum, I think this has been helpful in that, you know, as we're putting together this ordinance that we have not yet adopted, we are just introduced to one other sort of twist and thing that we really got to think about and, and see how we're going to uh, deal with that going forward. Um, so, I mean, I, I, I don't think it's likely the end of the world if, uh, you know, even if we, even if our, our policy that we end up adopting would not otherwise allow this just in this particular form as we have it. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, and I, I, I do think that regardless of uh, direct planning and everything that, um, you know, CXC, as I said, is still different. We do have a relationship. They are kind of uh, really operating something, you know, on city property that, that you know, the city it does try to promote. So, you know, I, yeah, it, it just kind of depends upon, I think, the comfort level of taking this step, uh, how you feel about it, how you feel about it as we develop this ordinance, um, and also just how do we feel about the, the, the event itself as it's been planned and how long anybody's had time to to consider it. I, I would probably be a little bit more guided by that um, than anything, but. All right. All right, we have five minutes. <laughs> um, I am looking for uh, Luke and Kendra's feelings about it now. It sounds like if, if I were to encapsulate everything in your head is that I think most people feel like, yeah, it's a good event. We, we like it, could have maybe used more time. And even based on Yuri's comments, it's like, hey, you know, if it's this is causing more consternation than it's worth, maybe it doesn't make sense. So, but it's certainly something that we can revisit um, at a super point. So I, given, given that we're, the, the trepidation uh, or surrounding it by well, what I would call all parties involved, I'll make a motion that we deny this uh, permit request. Can I just rewind here? We haven't gone through the agenda and addressed any oh, of the items. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Oh, hell. Here. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> went right for it. I apologize. Yep. Bad chair. Bad chair. Sorry, Jeremy. That's right. You called so the order. First, yeah, I sure did. <laughs> I needed to uh I needed to follow the rules though. We need to um approve the minutes from last time, right? First. So you, you haven't oh. uh, asked for any comments either. Oh come on. we've been commenting ourselves. Okay. Is there anyone from the public who would like to speak today? You have three minutes if you would like to. Hearing none because anyone who wanted to speak has already gone home. Um, I'll move on to approval of the minutes from January 10th. Make a motion to approve. I'll so, second. Great. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Uh, aye. Any opposed? All right, motion passes. So we are on to the application for the special events permit and the outdoor amplified sound permit for CXC. Um, let's see, let me read it officially. Application for a special event permit by Central Cross Country Skiing, Yuri Gusev, I apologize if I butchered that, um, contact person for the CXC Nordic Ski Medal Ceremony on February 4th, 2023 at Stonehorse Green um, and application for an outdoor amplified sound permit by Yuri Gusev for Central Cross Country Skiing, 4355 Schwartz Road, Middleton, Wisconsin for band sound system announcements, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. February 4th, 2023 for the CXC Nordic Ski Medal Ceremony. Now, Luke, your motion, please. Yes, uh, I will make a motion to deny. Um, I will second, but I would like to discuss for one second. 
Yuri, would you want to transfer this permit to the CXC facility for the for the band and the sound? Do you need a, a one for out there for the event? Would you want to change the location on the permit application? At this at this moment, probably. I mean, what would be the stage? That yeah, I'm not sure what will be can be ready in such a short period of time. Okay. I just wanted to give you the opportunity to change it so we could approve it if you needed it to hold it at your event. Yeah, and the band is sponsored by the downtown, uh, so I'm not sure how that. Oh. Yeah. So. But again, just from logistical, uh, it, it's I don't. I mean, we will be full with parking as as is with people. So yeah, it, it would be it would be very challenging. Okay, so the band is only happening if if CDA was sponsoring it. Is that what I'm hearing? I'm confused now. Yeah, Matt Strosnyder, can you shed yeah, some light? Yeah, we were we were going to have the band. Yuri, when Yuri, uh, Yuri and I discussed it, I we said we would the city would take care of the band portion of it. I see. Have mm. you have you got anyone on the on deck? Uh, I had a few few options uh, ready to go, but I wanted to. Um, be at this meeting first. Got it. So nobody's like going to starve or anything. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, and I guess my concern, again, this, if the city was sponsoring a band, then I would hope that there would be publication of the city is sponsoring a band and hosting this event to I, I guess it's just too late to get the word out. Yeah, I mean, the um, it was a CDA co-sponsored event with the CXC. Then this would all work, but it just sounds like it's just a little behind the ball. Is that? Uh, yeah, it was kind of thought. That's what really. Uh, I mean, honestly, my biggest. Uh, I don't want to say ulterior motive or whatever is to kind of see where we're at as far as like a almost like a blanket um sound permit event permit kind of thing um just because if if things like this were to happen and if they were more um you know organized through the city if the cda had sponsored this or something um as far as the city you know because most of the events i'm going to have well in advance so like if you go to the stonehorse green website um right now on the events page i put all the stuff for the year so far at least that's going to be there and i'm going to get all of those in with plenty of time i i don't want to make this my my thing you know like the 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 mat emergency meeting i'm pretty sure that i would be uh out of a job pretty quickly <laughs> if that were the case um and and yeah i i also um yeah, I haven't been, I haven't promoted this at all. Like if you, if you go to the Stonehorse Green website under February, I put something like um, come back soon or whatever. And, and also I didn't, I didn't feel like for this promoting it was that super necessary if 200 people were already going to come. Yeah, so, I see. Okay. Yeah. So it's different than like me and my dog and pony shows that I need to try to drum up some support. This one would have been one where I would have actually maybe preferred not as many people showed up because <laughs> so many people were already coming. Sure, sure. Any other questions, comments? No, I just think this gives us a really good indication of, of how the organizations in our community are seeing themselves, how they would want to use the space and gives us a lot of fodder for working mm -hmm. on that ordinance and thinking about different ways to to structure partnerships and figure out how we how we go forward with this ordinance. So while I, I I stick with my second of the motion that Luke put forward and I would deny at this point in time, I think I do it regrettably. I think it sounds like a pretty cool event and I would mm -hmm. love, you know, something like this to happen in the future. Um, just, I mean, that's 200 people that are in our community that would be great to come downtown and hang out for the evening. So, um, but I just think it needs a little bit more thought and, and we aren't quite prepared for it yet. 
Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess we'll hold our vote. All in favor of denying this permit signify by saying aye. 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 And those opposed? Aye. <laughs> so <laughs> I regret it. Um, I get exactly where you guys are coming from. I completely do. So it is just um, hopefully something we can put together for next year. Mm -hmm. Gary, I really um, appreciate you taking the time this evening. I'm sure you have a lot going on before this event. So um, anything else on this, you guys? Um, all right, so I will uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. Don't we need to, is, don't, was that encompassing of both of the things? Yeah. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So the purpose of special event and the center. Okay, got it. Okay. Then I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, we are adjourned. Matt Stroh Snyder, thank you for trying, man. Oh, no, thank you for doing this. I'm sorry. You I can't hit a home run unless you step up to the plate. <laughs> yeah, but you can't strike out at the plate. But <laughs> but I'm I'm fine with this. Uh I yeah, once we get these things ironed out because I don't I don't know half of them, you know, I have ideas and then I don't have any kind of so this this was super helpful and I really appreciate you doing this. And Yuri, oh, and I really uh, hope you have an awesome event and I hope that we can work some really cool festival out for you next year. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for, I mean, it's been a great partnership with the city, so we, we're really excited for the future. Excellent. Excellent. All right. All right. Um, Anything else, guys? Good luck. Keep coming back with your ideas, Matt. Don't stop. Yeah. <laughs>